Why, hello there, mountain and hill dwarves alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, and in this episode of Fantastic Anatomy, we are going to be drawing, yes, you guessed it, dwarves. And they're pretty simple to draw, and I think I've broken them down into two main features. But first, I'm going to talk a little bit about my background influence and where uh, in dwarves and where that comes from. So it comes from three main places. Same places as my elven influences. World of Warcraft, Lord of the Rings, and Dungeons and Dragons. So I thought I'd start off with World of Warcraft because I think they exaggerate the two main features that I see. Or three, actually. Let's say three. First off, the beard. Male dwarves always got to have beard and mustache or some kind of prominent facial hair. That was the... But um, then there's the nose. Look at these big honkers. All right? Big nose. Uh, we'll talk about that when I draw it more. Even the ladies, usually ladies will have smaller noses, but this is wider and uh, more prominent than most female characters would have. And then obviously they don't have the beard, but the kind of thick hair, whether it's on their head or on their beard, it has like a thickness to it, uh, which matches the thickness. They're thick and stout. They're almost the antithesis, antithesis of elves. So where elves are thin and softer and smoother shapes these are going to be more square shapes that's my last observation or blockier feeling shapes and large nose facial hair elves have smoother face small nose no no facial hair it's typical so let's look at some lord of the rings elves do we see these features i think gim has got a pretty big nose um and look at the straightness of his eyebrows straight line there on his head kind of these you can see a lot more straight lines here, kind of straight, straight for the bangs, big noses on most of these guys. He's the one who has the least dwarven looking features, and I think that's because we we're supposed to relate to him as the most, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cheap way to make us feel like he's their leader, and because he looks more like a human and we want our humans, I don't know, we think we're awesome because we're human, but... You let me know if you think that's a valid theory or not. This is a big, nice little round nose. Flat, flat. Got bigger ears. That's another thing. Bigger ears. Maybe they're normal size ears, but their heads are smaller. I don't know if that's true. But, um... And finally, we've got Dungeons and Dragons here. We've got nose isn't sticking out as much, but it's flat and wide. I think that's the main thing you're looking for. Facial hair is a little more trimmed back, but still. And, um, here we've got, you know, this guy looks like he's got the basic features. Now, I also have in this folder a dwarf impersonator. And see, I don't think this is a bad drawing at all. It's and it's a cool character and everything. But for some reason, I was like, that's that's not a dwarf to me. And why would that be? I think it's because the nose is too small. The head is too long. So actually, another feature I forgot to mention is a wide head versus a tall one. And, um... And yeah, so I think those, and there's not as many straight lines, like that's round, round. I would have squared that off a little round. There's a lot of round shapes. So let's go ahead and draw our dwarves. We're going to draw a male and female dwarf. At least that's the plan. I don't know if I've ever drawn a female dwarf, so we'll see how it works out. So I'm going to start off for the male. I'm going to do a shape like that. And for the female, I'm going to do the same shape. I'll just round it a little bit. Let's just round it just a little. See, we're going to round the corners. But it's more of a rectangular type shape. <laughs> Gotta take a big sniff or else I'm be sniffing the whole time. Alright. So um so the nose I like to do something like that. Um and let's do it a little bit smaller on the female and a little bit rounder, but we're still gonna go wide. And um I'm gonna make this a stoic a stoic male dwarf. So let's use the fantastic anatomy method. So I would use the um I mean I am using it, but I kind of shortcut it because I kind of get have a good vibe for this already so I don't I do these some of the steps in my mind all right so that's gonna be our basic let's say that's gonna be our basic face ears come from around here to here but I'm gonna make them a little bigger it's gonna come down farther to there I think that might be just a little too big for a dwarf I'm getting into gnome territory I like to think gnomes have even bigger ears than dwarves, but probably more, and probably because they have smaller heads. All right, and um, all right, let's leave this guy alone for now. We're gonna have well, let's just do the bust. We got a thick neck, not too long, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cool. On the female, let's uh, keep. I think keeping the face kind of squished a little bit too. 
but especially for female characters. I'm going to make her eyes a little bigger. Cheekbones. And then the eyebrows a little higher. And I think we're, I think we've approximated a female dwarf. I think that she's pretty dwarven. The hair is going to be another big thing. And I know I still have to do the hair episode. And I'm still kind of working out. I've got a chibi hairstyle. Or hair drawing style. So I might make a video on that. And let's go ahead and try it maybe here. So. Let's have his hair parted in the middle. No, I'm not really using it here actually. I don't think I am it. Maybe he's got some braids. They seem to have braids. We've got the mustache coming like this. And it stops right there. Then we got a beard coming all the way up here. I'm just going to cover up. And I like to draw the neck and stuff before I draw the beard. Because that's going to help me. Um, when I erase out like this part. All that. I'm not feeling this guy is so dwarven for some reason. I'm going to give him like a. Like a beard braid. I mean, I guess he's all right. He's decently dwarven, but why? Maybe it's the attitude. Maybe he's got a more serious, gruff attitude. There. Now I'm kind of starting to feel like, ah, oh, yeah, this guy's got a dwarven vibe. He might be a dwarven druid, actually. He's got a little more of like a peaceful, like, wisdom to him. That I didn't know in his eyes that I wouldn't have expected for most dwarves. No offense to dwarves. Alright, and then let's finish her off. We're gonna give her some we're gonna want to make her hair pretty thick. And I think it tends I mean it would be like it tends to be ginger, you know, redhead color. And I think also we like to do braids and stuff, but like a loose braid. And then like that. So let's do her neck. It's going to be thinner, but still kind of thick, I think, for because they're stout, stout creatures. All right. Just leave it like that, roughly. And so you see what I'm doing here. It's like a braid, but it's loose. This one may be hanging in front. And I think that's it. I think that's giving you the basic tools you'll need draw your own dwarven characters and if you do draw your own dwarven characters which you should have already because you should be following along in all these videos I'm not sure if you know that I should put a little disclaimer at the beginning um then you can I don't know I forgot I lost my train of thought so I'll just end with peace god bless and stay fantastic everyone